Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a special feature that no other Windows laptop can do but the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro, Book Pro 360, and the Samsung Galaxy Book. Okay, so let's dive in and get started. Now, this feature that I'm talking about, like I said, only applies to Windows users because Apple MacBook laptops have had this feature for a long time and it is in fact a powerful feature. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what it is and I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how it works. And of course the video is geared towards people that are in the market to buy one of these guys, these laptops, and also people that have Samsung as their primary smartphones. So this whole thing is part of the Samsung ecosystem. And in fact, it is a powerful feature that works flawlessly. Let's dive in and get started right away. And again, just to be crystal clear, this video is geared for people that are in the market, okay, to buy the Galaxy Book Pro, the Galaxy Book Pro 360, which is this one right here, or the Galaxy Book Go, or the Galaxy Book. So the feature I'm talking about is known as the Quick Share feature. It is, in fact, right over here. It comes pre-installed with these Galaxy Book Pros. So that's the Quick Share feature right there. Okay, what it allows you to do is it allows you to transfer large files from the laptop to the phone or from the phone to the laptop wirelessly without having to use the cloud. It's a direct and secure transfer from the laptop to the phone or from the laptop to the Samsung Galaxy tablets. So let me quickly demonstrate. And I do want to mention, this is the same thing that you find on Apple MacBook laptops. This is known as the AirDrop feature over there. Now it is finally coming to Samsung phones and works like a charm. So let me show you. So here I have a photo, okay? So I downloaded this photo right over here uh, from the internet. It's a large 4K photo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this. I'm going to share this. Uh, with this phone here wirelessly, okay, which normally is a pain in the ass, but this is just so easy. So all I do is I go to the photo, okay, I right click on the photo, and then I'm going to see the sharing using quick share option right there. I'm simply going to click on it, and it's going to bring up the interface, and right off the bat, my phone is going to pop up. The Saki 21 Ultra is this phone right here. It just popped up. Now, this laptop happens to be touchscreen, so I'm just going to touch that. Okay, it says waiting, and over here, look what happens. It says quick share preparing, and the photo has arrived almost immediately. That's a large 4K photo. So now I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a video transfer. So I'm going to maybe let me try to transfer half a terabyte, uh, I'm sorry, half a gigabyte of a video uh, from the from the phone to the laptop, and then I'll do it from the laptop to the phone so you can see the transfer speed, how convenient that is, and how useful that can be for some people that maybe record videos with their phones and they want to transfer it over here and edit it on their laptops. Just one example. All right, so here's a bunch of video files. I'm going to use this one right here. So let's see, tap on it, uh, swipe up. You can see that that thing, in fact, is 467.97 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this guy and send it over to the laptop. So let's do that right now. Uh, tap the share button. All right. And then we have the quick share right here. And the laptop just shows up right here. The name of this laptop right here is Saki 360. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it. Look at what happens. It says connecting to the laptop. All right. And then look at that. Receiving. Look at the speed of that. Big file. Same thing here, boom, it's sent. All right, so we this are, I'll show you guys some of the updates. Let I me just X this out real quick. Of my... All right, so that was a quick transfer from this guy to this guy. Now, when you transfer something from your phone over to your, let me just tap that real quick, over to your uh, laptop, uh, what happens is it goes into your, this is a touch screen, so I'm gonna touch it, okay? Goes over here, you go to your downloads, okay? and it gets saved under QuickShare. So the file that I sent over is gonna be right here, as you can see, all right? 
So that is in fact fantastic. Let me X that out. Great. Now I dumped that file to the desktop right here. So we're gonna, now we're gonna put this back from here to here. Okay, so you can do back and forth. I just want you guys to see everything, especially when you're in the market to buy these products. Sometimes it's just that one feature that we're looking for. So again, share using Quick Share. The phone is gonna pop right there. I'm gonna tap on it. It says waiting for to connect, all right? Takes a couple of seconds to uh, connect. Got a pop up right there, it's preparing it, and then it's receiving it. Look at the speed at, at the speed it's being transferred. That's a 500 megabyte file. So if it was a movie, a, a two uh, gigabyte movie, it would just come over in less than 20 seconds. That is absolutely uh, insane, okay? Very good product. Now, some of you guys may be wondering what are the requirements uh, for the quick share to work? So basically there's three things you gotta do. First and foremost, both laptop and the phone has to be on the same Wi-Fi network. And then both of these products have their Bluetooth enabled. And finally, they're both logged into the same Samsung account. So most of our phones are logged into a Samsung account. With the laptop, you wanna make sure you go over to the quick share application, which is right here. Then you wanna click on the settings, okay? And you just wanna make sure that you have the same Samsung account that you have, you are logged in on the phone so they can talk to each other. You can also change the name of the computer and also change the download folder uh, for incoming files to the laptop from phone or other Samsung products like a Samsung tablet. But that's it, same Samsung account login, same Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth on and on. And that's gonna make sure all this works uh, flawlessly. Now one thing I do want to also share with you guys that's very important is if you have a non Samsung laptop or if you have an older Samsung laptop model like I said it's not gonna work and I'm gonna show you why so right now I am on another laptop okay so when I go to Microsoft Store I can actually search for the quick share uh, app and it's gonna pop up it's right here but if you look over here it says this app is not compatible with this device so that's gonna happen on most Windows laptops and PCs. So don't expect this to work, at least not right now. But if you do click more over here, you notice that it does tell you, like I said, supported models are the Galaxy Book, Galaxy Books released from May 2021 onwards. So those are Book, Book Go, Book Pro, and the Book Pro 360. I don't want you guys to make a mistake and buy the wrong laptop if you're in the market. If you want to use this feature, at least for now, you have to buy these laptops. I'm not sure if in the future it's gonna be compatible with other products as well. So just a clarification. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, I hope you guys learned something new. So now you know that only the Samsung Galaxy Book, the latest ones that were, that were just released, can do this incredible uh, feature, again, Apple products have had this for a while. It's known as AirDrop instantaneous transfer, almost instantaneous between two products. Can be very useful if you are in the market specifically looking for this feature. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?